Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Today, the United States is comprehensively suppressing China in the field of technology, which has hindered the process of global integration. The United States has used its technological advantages to impose severe sanctions on China's chip industry. China can only retaliate in a reciprocal manner, mainly targeting the United States' demand for China's rare earth resources. Rare earth elements are indispensable elements in industrial production and have important applications in military industry, smelting and other fields. China has the world's largest rare earth reserves and production, as well as the world's most advanced rare earth mining technology. This is something to be proud of. In recent years, China has made breakthrough progress in the development and utilization of weathering crust type rare earth deposits. According to the latest research results of the China Meteorological Administration, China has developed an electric driven, mining technology suitable for weathered crust type rutile ores, which can effectively improve the recovery rate, mining time and impurity content of weathered crust type rare earth ores. The development of advanced rare earth smelting technology will enable China to occupy an important position in this industry and firmly dominate the industry. China's advantages in rare earth mining technology have made the United States increasingly wary of China's strength. This has been verified in the chip war. Therefore, the United States established its own rare earth industry chain and began to look for other suppliers that could replace China in order to get rid of its economic dependence on China. But the final result was exposed by foreign reporters. The United States had to cooperate with China because they could not ignore China's interests in this field. Improve China's technological level in the rare earth industry. According to Xinhua News Agency, China has made new breakthroughs in this technology. Chinese scientific researchers have developed a mining process for weathered cross-type rutile mines using electric drive technology. Compared with the traditional ammonia solution method, the electric drive method has the advantages of environmental protection and energy saving and has significant improvements in indicators such as recovery rate and impurity content. China's research in this area has reached the forefront of the world, and all of this is inseparable from their efforts. So far, the number of patents China has applied for in the field of rare earths has far exceeded that of the United States, reaching more than 23,000. China not only has the world's largest rare earth reserves and production, but is also the world's largest producer and exporter of rare earth resources. Because of this, if other countries want to obtain these resources, they must import them and undergo corresponding processing to produce finished products. The realization of all this is inseparable from China's continuous innovation and breakthroughs in rare earth processing technology. The United States strives to get rid of its dependence on China's rare earth resources. Now, China's dominance in rare earths poses a threat to the United States. After all, the United States relies on its technological advantages to arbitrarily attack China's chip industry and implement technological hegemony. The United States is worried that China will retaliate with tit for tat and use rare earth resources as a countermeasure. Therefore, the United States wants to reduce its dependence on China's rare earth resources in all aspects. 
In the last century, 90% of the rare earths in the United States came from China. If the United States wants to reduce this ratio, it must establish its own rare earth industry chain. However, because rare earth resources in the United States are symbiotic with other elements, other elements will be wasted during the development process. In addition, the technology in the United States is not mature enough and rare earth resources are relatively scarce. So this plan cannot yet be implemented on a large scale. The final result is that the import share dropped from 90% to 70%. China remains the largest supplier of rare earth resources. While trying to establish a rare earth industry chain in its own country, the United States is also looking abroad for substitutes for China's rare earth resources. Mongolia and Australia are precisely the countries the United States wants to replace China. However, even if these two countries can replace China's position, they cannot surpass China's advantages in this field. While Mongolia and Australia are developing rare earth resources, they are also facing many problems such as transportation, geographical environment, climate conditions, infrastructure construction, mining and processing technology, etc. Moreover, the investment is huge and takes a long time. The United States cannot avoid China's rare earth industry chain. The United States, Japan, South Korea, Australia, and other countries jointly formed a rare earth company called Earths in an attempt to weaken China's leadership in the rare earth field. Seek a global alternative to China through the G7 alliance. However, something interesting happened. Malaysia, as a substitute, stopped rare earth trade with the United States and announced that it would stop exporting rare earth products to the United States. Malaysia did this, on the one hand, it wanted to protect its own rare metals, and on the other hand, it also wanted to avoid further losses. Due to the lack of mature rare earth processing technology, these Western manufacturers have caused serious ecological and environmental damage in Malaysia. Executives of Pekrarath's Rare Earth Group have learned from Malaysia's mineral development that if they want to obtain these resources, they cannot bypass China's industrial chain, so they can only cooperate with China. Without cooperation with China, companies will achieve nothing. This proves China's irreplaceability in this industry from a positive and direct perspective. Data shows that China has five times the production capacity of any other country in the world. China's scientific and technological progress in rare earths will provide greater guarantee for China's influence around the world in the future and enhance its competitiveness. I don't know if Biden in the United States can realize that in the context of globalization, isolating himself will only be a disaster. Only by persisting in cooperation and maintaining friendly exchanges can China's cooperation achieve win-win results. If Biden's team goes its own way and continues to impose sanctions to hinder China's development, China will respond in kind to the United States.